Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. So today's topic as you can see here is construction. So as you can see I have three things over here. This is scale, this is protector and this is compass. Now I am going to make you understand some standard angles, how to construct it. Of course I am going to explain it with the help of this compass. But first I will tell you how do we do it with the help of protector also ok. So for protector like uh, this is for junior students if you want to know how do we construct angles with protector this is very very simple. But at the same time this video is all about how do we do construction using uh, compass ok. So first I will make you understand how we can use like how we can draw angles certain angles with the help of protector. So it is very simple what you have to do is you have to draw a line segment. I hope you know the difference between line and line segment. If you do not know the difference between line and line segment, I have made a separate video where I have talked about line, line segment and rays. So please go and watch that video. I will put the link in the description box. So now as you can see I have drawn a, a line segment here ok. So suppose this uh, line segment is of any length ok. I am not taking here any fixed length like 5 cm, 10 cm something like that of any length I have taken. Now the question is I have to make certain angles. So as you can see in this protector uh, I hope you can see that all the angles are given here ok. So you can see 0, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100 till 180. Now if I am going to as you can see that there are two points ok. This is the line segment and these are the two points. If I am going to keep uh, my protector over here I have to make sure that I am keeping this point exactly this point in the protector as you can see here exactly at this point ok. So let me write uh, keep it here and as you can see you have to perfectly keep your uh, you know uh, center at this point only and then you have to make sure that this line this line as you can see here is also exactly on the line that you have drawn alright. And now you can see that whenever you will put your protector over like at this end you have to see the this angle ok the angles which are written uh, below this that means the uh, in the interior angles ok I, I must say interior angles. So this is 0, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90 and then 180. So if someone is asking you to draw or construct 40 degree with the help of protector ok as I said this is for a junior student. Uh, so yes what you have to do is you just see that where is 40 of course you don't see uh, from this uh, the outer angles from the inner angle in interior angles you have to see ok because you are keeping the protector right here. If you will keep the protector at this point then you have to see the outer angles ok. So I am considering here the in, uh, interior angles only. So now as you can see I have put uh, the center like I have put exactly at the center I have make, made sure that I have uh, put this protector exactly on the line and now the question is I have to show uh, where is 40 degree. So can you see that 40 is here if this is 40 ok if the like you cannot see it I hope it is visible. So yes uh, this is 40 right so exactly at 40 you have to put a point ok and then what you will do? You will remove this, you will take a scale and you will join both the points and this is what you have to do and this is nothing but your 40 degree. Isn't it very simple? This is our 40 degree. Now as this is very simple similarly you can make any other angles as well uh, 90, 60, 30, 40, uh, 50. 45 where will 45 come 45 will come exactly between 40 uh, and 50 ok for example I am talking about 45 so this is 40 this is 50 the middle part is this so here it will come ok I hope you are understanding this and yes this is how we can make any angle with the help of protector but now here the question is how can we make the angles using uh, you know uh, compass ok. So let us understand. So in this I am going to take few angles uh, and I will be making another video uh, part 2 where I will be taking the rest angles as well. So in this particular vid uh, video I am going to talk on uh, 
certain angles which you you will see here okay i'm going to use uh, the color pencil here uh, because so that you can easily see uh, how i'm drawing and it is clearly visible to you of course in in the exam you don't have to use the color pencil you will be using only pencil uh, so here just to make this video i'm using this color pencil okay so i'm making a line segment again okay now here i have to do something first of all i'm taking this compass i'm putting the this uh, pencil inside this okay and then i'm just keeping it tight okay now what i'll do i'll make one semi circle here okay i'll make one semi circle which you can see i'm doing it here so yes it is looking like i hope it is visible to you so this is the semi circle that i have drawn make sure that you are not you uh, are doing you know uh, like overwriting it i am doing it here but okay i just make sure you are not doing it and then by keeping this exactly as it is you will not uh, you know expand it or you will not uh, contract uh, contract it. it it's just you have to keep the length as it is and then you will keep the the spin point here and then when you will cut an arc over here that is going to give you 60 degree all right this will give you 60 degree i'm just uh, drawing this so that you will understand from the video that this is the arc i have made and then this is the 60 degree okay now keeping my point exactly at this uh, position if i'll cut another arc do you know that this angle is nothing but 120 degree so from this only we got two angles okay i'm just going to do this so now from this point from this point if i just draw a line passing through this point this will give you a 60 degree and if i draw a line from this point to this point then this will give us 120 degree so i have made how many angles till now i have made two angles quickly this is 60 degree okay and this entire is 120 degree okay now let's draw 90 degree so for that what do we have to do is we have to keep of course you don't have to uh, you know shake it you have to keep this as it is you will be keeping your compass right here you will draw another arc here and by keeping the the compass here and you will draw another arc from this point okay uh, just to make it visible for you i'm going to make this and this now what do we have to do we have to keep our uh, scale here right here and we have to draw a straight line of course passing through the center okay do you know that this has also given us 90 degree so we have made how many angles till now we have made 90 degree 60 degree and 120 degree now because i have 60 degree i can easily make 30 degree as well what do i have to do i have to just uh, keep my uh, compass here and then i have to cut an arc over here okay over here and then i have to keep the compass over here and i have to cut it here okay and now this is giving us 30 degree because i have just drawn something from the mid of 60 degree and the half of 60 degree will of course give us 30 degree so we got 30 degree also isn't it very simple right so we have made how many angles till now we have made uh, 60 degree 90 degree for 120 degree and 30 degree also now from this 90 degree again i can make 45 degree also but for that what do i have to do i have to shake this now okay so i'll just measure from this to this okay and then i'll cut an arc over here okay and then i'll keep my compass over here and then i'll cut it from this position only and then you can see i got something like this and this point and this point if i join if i draw a lines uh, if i draw a ray here that will give me a 45 degree okay so this was 45 degree which is the half of 90 degree now from this 45 if i take you know if i just keep my uh, compass here and here and then i 
draw an arc here that will give me half of 45 okay for example this is 30 degree right if i keep my compass here and here if i draw an arc here and here that will give me half of 30 which is 15 degree so are you understanding by drawing certain angles we can easily make the other angles as well okay it's just uh, the half of that angle you can easily draw so from 120 degree of course 60 degree we had already drawn so we did not make any other angle so in this how many angles we have drawn we first drew 60 degree then we drew 120 degree then we drew 90 degree of course we drew half of 60 degree also which is 30 degree then half of 20 degree 60 degree which we have already drawn 90 degree half is 45 degree right and then 30 degree half also i just uh, you know uh, showed you here that this is our nothing but 15 degree now do you know that seven and a half degree also i can draw how because 15 degree half will be seven and a half degree so that will become you have to keep your uh, compass here you will cut an arc here you will keep your compass here you will cut an arc here and then you have to join that so this way you can make the half of all the angles almost so yes 30 degree half is 15 degree all right yes this is 30 degree and this is 15 degree similarly you can also draw half of 15 degree which is seven and a half degree and you can also draw 45 degree half which is 22.5 degree okay so same way you can draw all the angles using the compass i have not taken all the angles in this video in the next video i'm going to cover all the other angles as well if you think that you have understood this uh, video like uh, this construction in this video please let me know about it in the comment section uh, if you have not understood it i'll make another video i'll make it clear for you by drawing all the angles separately okay so this is just the basic idea of construction i hope you understood it if you have understood please uh, like uh, this video and also subscribe to the channel uh, thank you so much guys